uh, devising clever new methods. All the Chinese technology is either bought from the West or stolen from the West. And there's still many, many... They still have to use far more energy to produce... Sure. China can't do. even build SAM missiles that work. No, that's the, this, this is what the Chinese are like. So we, it would be naive uh, for us to listen to the Chinese when they... Well, it would be naive, it'd be naive for us to listen to Greenpeace when Greenpeace tells us about how green China is and how, how keen China is to, <laughs> to, to greenify its economy. China, China does not give a toss about being green. It... it It'll do whatever is necessary to advance its cause. If Absolutely, right, and, and it hopes we handicap ourselves by not having energy. James Dillingpoll, Rifle and Telegraph, you name it, joining us. We're going to come back in the next segment. He's going to tell us what else we should look for at this big global government conference. And we have the Pope saying we can buy carbon indulgences and get us out of hell. I mean, I'm not kidding. He's saying world government, world enforcement is the answer to save our souls. Ted Cruz has come out and said the overwhelming majority of criminals are Democrats. The demographics show that. We're going to cover that in the next segment. Go to your phone calls. And I'm not even a Republican. I'm a Libertarian. But the Democrats are morphing into a mentally ill criminal organization. I mean, look at how the radical socialists are combining forces with radical Islamist Sunnis to then oppress everyone in Europe. It's truly sickening. Final segment with Dilling Poll right now. Uh, we're breaking down the situation unfolding worldwide. James Dilling Poll, what else is important from your research for folks to know about this global government Save the World Climate Summit? And then also, what do you make of the waves of migrants? How far do you think that's going to go? Have the socialists finally, in their attempt to wreck the West, jumped the shark? <laughs> That's a lot of questions there. Well, the, 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 you mentioned the Pope earlier on. It's it, it, it's very interesting that Ban Ki Moon, the the General Secretary of the United Nations, managed to co-opt the Pope into this great climate crusade. Um, I mean, I, I hated that speech Obama made, but but he was absolutely right when he said that there really are no political leaders in the world who are against this thing, and this has got nothing to do with with. Um, their expert knowledge of the subject. It's just because they they just go with the flow. It's it's become all consuming. So it's a bandwagon. I, I, I would argue that the far more serious issues that are facing us in the world today, one of them would be immigration, definitely. Uh, climate change would come way, way down on the list. In fact, I would say it comes down way down the list of most normal people. But unfortunately, we don't seem to get the, the say in the matter. There is this democratic deficit whereby the political class going to railroad through this policy anyway, regardless of what we think. I agree with you. Uh, what do you think the main motive is of Merkel and Hollande and Obama to want to bring in unlimited amounts of immigrants? Um, I think that it's it's not. They haven't even thought it through. I I, I genuinely think they haven't thought it through. I think it's because uh, politicians like virtue signalling. That, that is, they, they want to be seen to be nice, caring people. They want to be, and, and it, it suits the narrative that, look, we care about people. Look, look here are some immigrants. We care about, about them. We want, to, we want to give them a new life and a better future, just like, just like the countries of Europe did in the war to people fleeing Nazi Germany. That's the, kind, that's the kind of way they think. It's very simplistic. They don't think through the consequences. They don't think through the, what's happened in, in, in Sweden, um, in, in Britain, in, in Belgium, where you've got these ghettos of people who do not want to integrate, who want to destroy their host country. Well, that's what it comes down to, is there's an attempt where they can wreck what was ever left of the Renaissance order. They can bring in complete tyranny, and I think we need to realize that most of these people that are grassroots mean well, but they're on a power trip through the system, but the people at the top consciously know they're taking over. I mean, I think that's overwhelmingly obvious. Yeah, uh, I, I think that the, the West, actually, Western civilization has got a death wish. I think we've grown soft. I think we no longer defend our values. We no longer even understand what our values are. I mean, look at the stuff that's going on at, at Mizzou at the moment, all this stuff about, all this stuff that students are obsessed with about, about cisgender and about rape culture. These are all kind of invented kids' fantasies. They've got nothing to do with... It's like worrying crisis. about boogeymen statistically. It's total mental illness. It is. It is. It is. But, 
but what, but but these are all signs, and uh, I, I think of of, a, of an intellectually weak, decadent society. We've forgotten what it is that really matters, and that is the problem. And so, inevitably, we're going to get exploited by much much harder cultures like fundamentalist Islam, That's it. which 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 know what what they do stand for, and, and and they very much do have a will to win. That's it. We've had our culture completely removed. We've been turned into griping sissies that just fight with each other all day and then here come in dark age cultures with swords conquering us yeah it's it, look it's uh, the, the roman empire didn't last forever and it, it is not written that our empire we've 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 been through the enlightenment we've been through uh you know we've had judeo-christian civilization we've created this we've created the best culture culture the world has ever seen but i think that since the war it's um it's been in decline i think people have I've forgotten what it what it is that about our culture that makes it special. I agree. It was Victor Hugo that said prosperity you know, basically makes monsters, adversity makes men. And it's almost like going on a Mars mission. You have no gravity, so you can't walk once you get there. I think we've had it so good that we've just turned into jellyfish, and this is just a natural cycle. Uh, I, I, I fear so. I, let, let's hope it's not the kind of the final um, down wave. I, I, I hope that I mean, it, it, there, there have always been, been periods of history where people have needed to be forcibly reminded with, that their civilization is worth fighting for. I mean, it happened in World War II. Britain, Britain was quite sort of... Absolutely. We could bounce back, but only if some of us get out there and lead this cultural awakening. JamesDillingPoll.com is the website. Thanks, James. Talk to you soon. Well, thank you. Okay, we'll be back bye. with a ton of news, your calls, and more. I'm Alex Jones with InfoWars.com. The attempt to save Western civilization continues.